Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be talking to Lauren Lubin, who identifies as gender neutral and who is also a competitive runner and a documentary filmmaker. We're gonna be talking to Lauren a little bit about the film that they're producing and creating called We Exist. But we're also gonna be looking into what it's like to be a competitive runner when you don't identify within the gender binary. Also, Lauren is making me run for this episode, so good luck to me, see you later. My name is Lauren Lubin, and I identify as gender neutral. And I am also a runner. The first identity I ever formed as a young child was I'm an athlete, mm. before even a gender. From like six to even 12, I played every sport, from soccer to lacrosse, uh, swimming, you name it. I couldn't play enough. The age of 30 now, I really started to embrace running. Why do you run? Why do you like this? <laughs> <laughs> I think for me, running was something I could do to just like release myself. Yeah. <laughs> running, laughing. <laughs> yeah, we're running. totally fine. <laughs> we're like, whatever. I've always felt neutral, neither identifying as male and or female. Like you've run and checked the box male and you run and checked the box female. Yeah, right? so the first year I was running, I like did a social experiment. We police gender so heavily in athletics. I started the first year running as a female and the second year running as a male. I realized that the increment in which I stood was such a slight deviation. We assume that you have to have a certain body type, you know, even gender body type or athletic body type to, to compete, but the reality is, is anyone can compete. A runner's body is someone who's running. It's never been my gender identity that has made me a successful athlete. It's been, you know, my lifestyle, nutrition, training, dedication, perseverance, you know, the list goes on. I would have never said, oh, well, it's because I identify as gender neutral. So it is like a thing that you can do whenever you want, pretty much wherever you want. Yeah, and there's nothing that stops you. In a world that says no, 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 at every turn, there's nothing that's stopping me from like putting my shoes on and lacing them up. In retrospect, it was quite young when I recognized that my gender identity was in conflict with my athletic career, but I couldn't actually put words into it. I knew how I felt inside, I didn't feel male and female, but I didn't know that it was something that could exist for myself. As far back as I can remember, I struggled to fit in, and I struggled to fit in with the boys when there were no girls leagues for me. I struggled to fit in with the girls when, you know, people were like, this is who you are. Right. For all those years, the successes of my sport was a good distraction away from all these things that were happening mm. inside of me. But as I got older, particularly when I was in college and I was playing ball, you know, I remember being, it was like my sophomore year of college and really just feeling this sense of despair because I knew I couldn't deny myself anymore. Yet the thought of not having a place in sports because of who I was was really frightening for me. I walked away from sports for probably eight years after that. Entirely. Entirely. After a lot of research and really just trying to communicate myself authentically, I came to the conclusion that, yeah, I am non-binary. For me, that is how I experience gender, is in, is in a neutral manner. I recognized, okay, I don't identify as female. I don't identify as male. For so long, I was like, how can this even be? I had to really educate myself to say, oh wait, you know, these people do exist, I do exist. Why didn't I know about this? Right. Like, it would have like saved me so much uh, agony. So when I did come out, it was kind of an interesting story because I came out and was like, this is who I am. And by the way, I'm gonna make a film about it. We Exist is an upcoming documentary that explores what life is like for individuals who identify outside the gender binary while living in a um, gender binary world. We Run is just a branch of We Exist. People often ask, you know, where do you exist? How do you exist? And it's like everywhere, you know, we run, we sing, we dance, we, you know, we're leaders and it's infinite. Okay, so what is the mission then of We Run? The mission of We Run is, just like the film, is to raise visibility for the non-binary community within the world of sports. You know, it really sends a direct message to the sporting world that we need to re-examine the way in which we look at sports. And this is not a trans 
gender issue. This is not a non-binary issue. This includes everybody. You're trying to get recognition of more than just two genders in running. I mean, that's something that you're working towards, right? Yeah, you know, I've definitely had conversations, even with the New York City Marathon. I am trying to make a, a very public statement. You know, there's non-binary athletes that are competing. People always ask, well, where do they compete? I'm like, everywhere. <laughs> we, we compete everywhere. My ultimate goal with New York City Marathon and, and running in general is obviously to you know, have inclusion for non-binary athletes. But I think my most immediate goal is to raise recognition and visibility. Activism is, is not a defiance. It's, it's providing opportunities for, for people. <laughs> Woo! I don't know like what human actually contorts their body in this fashion. Yeah, this is I didn't realize how unrealistic it was. It's very unrealistic. Until now. And they're gigantic humans. I see this as like Title 10. This is the next phase of like sports inclusion. People are starting to recognize, wait a second, you know, there's a whole group of people that, you know, they can't turn an eye to anymore. And I think that's the most exciting part for me. It is so exciting. It's yeah. exciting to think that like in our lifetime, we will hopefully see such drastic changes in and the sports world. I hope so. I mean, we see it already because our youth is far more, uh, just far more proactive, I think, and open-minded than we've ever had, mm -hmm. you know? And, and there are future leaders. The beauty of sport is it brings a community together, the world together, and I love being an athlete for the sake of something outside of myself. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Medium thank you for making me run. I actually enjoyed it. I actually did oh, have a good time. Good. You so, did too. Yeah. Hey, thank you. Did yeah. you hear that? Lauren said that I did good and they are a professional runner. To all of you, please keep subscribing. Please keep commenting down below. Today we want to talk about sports. Has sports had an active role in your life? Has it affected you? Does it intersect with your identity? If so, let us know below. You have to check out We Exist. It's, is it weexist.co? We exist. You need to follow the film that Lauren is creating because it is going to be amazing. Thank you.